Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi Helloe, my name is Loey and today we're going to be taking a look at 34 scary TikToks from the scary side of TikTok that you guys have tagged me in recently. It's been way too long since our last scary side of TikTok video. I really hope you guys have been well. We've got everything today from creatures caught on camera in the Appalachian Mountains all the way to some of the scary scariest analog horror I've ever seen on TikTok. So get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack, and buckle in because these TikToks might just give you nightmares. But before we get into them, I want to say a huge thank you to our sponsor, Storyiverse. Storyiverse is a new app that I've been really excited for because it kind of blends together the world of writing and animation all into this format that feels like the next evolution of comics or graphic novels. Storyiverse also works with different creative writers and artists all over the globe so that every single thing that you watch and read on there feels a little different. And not every art style is the same either. Sometimes there's 2D art, 3D art, anime style art. The stories also aren't in any one genre either. They're sci-fi and action, even fantasy and comedy, and all of these stories are exclusive to the Storyiverse app, so you can't read them anywhere else. I just wanted to pick one story to share with you, I swear, but there are literally too many good titles on Storyiverse already, which is crazy considering how new it is. My favorites though are Transmission, which is like a cyberpunk dystopian kind of story, very sci-fi, a little spooky. There's certainly a mystery to it. It's not like a scary story, but I got really into it and it only took me about 10-ish minutes to read completely. The other story I really liked was also a dystopian one and it's called I Hope You're Happy. It's a world where basically crying is punishable by death and there are these smiley overlords anywhere and it's so creepy and I loved every minute of it. And the best part is the app is free to download on the App Store as well as Google Play. I love this app. I love it so much. And yes, I'm being sponsored to talk about it right now, but this has actually been something that I've been very excited to tell you guys about. I've been following the app for a little bit prior to its release, and I just love this format of storytelling so much. I feel like if you like my videos, you probably will like the way that these stories are told a lot. So download Storyiverse on the Google Play and App Store today and give them a follow at Storyiverse for upcoming trailers and behind the scenes content. Thank you so much to Storyiverse for sponsoring this video. I'm a really big fan. And now let's get into the TikToks. Okay, I lied. I'm wearing a princess dress and I just realized I didn't address it in the beginning of this video. Um, I put it on for a TikTok and it was very, very difficult to get on and I'm not ready to deal with getting it off yet. So I just decided to literally leave it on for this video. Finally, getting into our TikToks today, I don't know that there is another place to start for this video than with the TikTok account Dustin Frazier. Now we talked about Dustin's haunting on TikTok in my last scary side of TikTok video. However, since we last talked about Dustin, things have really taken a turn for the truly spooky. Just a quick reminder, Dustin lives in the Appalachian Mountains. He has been experiencing a mimic type energy for quite some time now in his home and this video went viral at his workplace. So let me set the scene for you a little bit. Dustin starts off this TikTok by saying he's freaking out because he sent his friend a Snapchat and his friend noticed something in the background of the video. After this, Dustin plays said Snapchat, which I will show to you now. Yeah, um, I just got to work and I feel like, ugh, like all day today, I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bit. I felt bad and I don't know. I just like, I feel like I need to go to a doctor, but like I'm constantly just like nauseous and I don't really know why. Like I have tried to like take medicine for it and stuff, but I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really does anything. If you wanted to swing by, um, and say hey like you could oh i can't see i also hate that they always keep this room so dark like come on now but anyways as you can see in the background of the video there is somebody 
standing behind him. Calling it somebody doesn't even feel right either. Something. This looks unlike any entity or person I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a mask, but like also so startlingly realistic. And when brightening it up, it only gets scarier. Not to mention the constant bizarre whispering noises all throughout this video. And if you remember the last time we talked about Dustin's account, he was hearing something whistling even when he was not at home. Like maybe when he was going to work or was just out and about, he has just been hearing this thing whistling at him. Now, whether this is the same entity that we see in this video is unclear. And shortly after this video, Dustin was put into a situation in which he had to clarify that these videos are for entertainment purposes, which I think that you and I knew at this point. We watch scary stuff on the internet all the time together, so I feel like we can sniff out like a scary story when we see one, but I guess a lot of people just didn't know. Now, Dustin's videos are continuing. I really, really, really like his account, and I will be keeping an eye on it and seeing if there's like a storyline that kind of unfolds with this. But since this was literally the most viral video that I have seen on TikTok in a long time, let alone a scary video going so viral, I wanted to talk about it first in this video. Make sure to check out Dustin's account. I will have him and everybody else that I mentioned in this video listed down below. He seems lovely, and I think his videos are so great creepy and cool. Speaking of the Appalachian Mountains, we're taking a look here at another TikTok from our friend Morg's Hauntings. As you probably already know, Morg also lives in the Appalachian Mountains, and she's always making amazing videos talking about her own stories, even reading other people's stories, and just generally documenting her paranormal experiences. She captioned this video, Appalachian Mountains Tip. If you're home alone and hear the whistling, pretend you didn't. Now off of Dustin's video, I thought that this one was particularly eerie. Clear as day, you can hear something whistling in the background of that video. And I feel like people talk about whistling in the Appalachian Mountains a lot. Don't whistle outside at night, never whistle after dark, never respond to something whistling. And on that note, we have this video from Katie Shea who talked about an experience in which she and her son were by themselves just hanging out outside on the trampoline. The two of them kept hearing a strange whistling sound. When we would stand up on the trampoline, we'd hear <whistles> just like that. When we'd sit down, it would stop. Um, it stopped for like 10 minutes. I stood up to, to get out, get off the trampoline and I heard it again. And now I'm finding playing cards in my backyard. Um, we don't have people over, we don't play cards, we actually don't really socialize at all. <laughs> I'm finding these in my backyard. Are these things connected? Should I be scared? I don't know what's with all the creepy whistling noises. I don't know why it seems to be following people around the country from the Appalachian Mountain region to beyond, but I've noticed a lot of people talking about things like this hearing whistling sounds, experiencing like mimic-like activity when they're not necessarily in an area that's, I guess, like more known for that. A lot of people have said the veil is thin or that it was the eclipse making things weird or what have you, but what do you think? Then we have a video from TikTok user CV Nella. You guys know I love my mons. I love my CV Nella. We actually finally met at a screening of the first Omen. I am just as devastated as you are that we didn't get a picture together. She is just one of my favorite horror creators online at the moment and definitely one of my favorite TikTokers. And you may have also seen me post a video about this because I was so interested in this topic, but her explanation of the Canal Cinco or Channel 5 hijack slash Twitter hacking is so creepy. It's so good. 
I wanted you to hear it for yourself. Let's talk about one of the creepiest moments in internet history, the Canal 5 Twitter incident. This incident scared the whole Latina community, and if you don't know about it, let me just tell you. On the morning of April 1st, 2020, popular Mexican TV channel Canal 5 would make some terrifying posts on their Twitter that left thousands of users confused. One of the posts included this one that was posted at 2, 3 a.m. And it's creepy, coming from a professional TV channel account. Like, let me just show you. Time for a munch, crunch, crunch, munch, munch, crunch, crunch, munch, munch, crunch, 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 crunch. Aside from that one, there would be other several creepy posts. Like, it just kept going and going. And if you get creeped out easily, um, maybe scroll away or save this for the morning. Because I'm about to show you a compilation of what allegedly was posted on their Twitter account. You like them? Is it good? Yeah. Now, of course, after this happened, people wondered if it was some kind of April Fool's joke, maybe like a marketing stunt, but I looked it up and allegedly it was an employee that posted these. Like on this news article, it says, Canal 5 despida sujeto que subía extraños videos en la noche. Now, I will say this, like, I, I get it. Like, don't make creepy posts on this channel that also airs kids' TV shows, but that did gain Canal 5 a lot of attention, don't you think? Now, this might seem like the most random thing in the world, and it really is. Nobody knows to this day, was this a weird April Fool's joke by Channel 5? But this isn't even the first time something strange has happened on Channel 5. And in another TikTok, CV Nella explains the mystery of the Celine Delgado broadcast. Let's talk about one of the creepiest Mexican analog horrors, the Selena Delgado broadcast. Now, before I show you the video, let's break it down a little bit. Now, the Selena Delgado broadcast was a broadcast that allegedly happened on Canal 5 during the segment called Al Servicio a la Comunidad, which translates to In Service to the Community, which was a missing people's broadcast during the late 1990s to the early 2000s. And this segment would cut between commercials to help spread the word on missing people. It was usually followed by the name, the age, and the date that they went missing. However, it was one that would shock people of a woman named Selena Delgado who was a woman that went missing on April 22nd in Álvaro Obregón, Mexico City. But allegedly, during her broadcast, which apparently cut during a kid's TV show, her picture gets interrupted by this. Desde 18 años, se extravió el 22 de abril en la delegación Álvaro Obregón. Selene Delgado López se ignora su paradero desde el 28 de mayo del año 2000. So yeah, apparently that popped up and thousands of children were horrified by this picture. But yeah, apparently according to some commenters, their moms like saw this happen in real life and others just say that it's the best analog horror. I'm unclear as to whether or not that was actually aired on Channel 5 or if it's just an urban legend, but the tweets are totally real, like came from the account. So maybe it's not that far-fetched to think they would be pulling some creepy stunts online. Either way, I thought that the story of Channel 5 or Canal Cinco in Mexico was crazy and terrifying, and I'm very curious to hear your thoughts or if you've ever even heard of this. Then we have a video from another familiar face, TikToker Soul Mori, who made a video recently, back in February, showing off her scariest haunted dolls. You guys know I have been a fan of Soul Mori and her haunted dolls since basically the very start of this series of scary TikToks. So I thought we'd take a bit of a trip down memory lane, see some of the scariest familiar faces of the past, but also, maybe get introduced to some of her newer dolls. Can you show us your scariest dolls? Of course I can. Starting off with one of the most obvious is this doll here. I recently got this doll and noticed that it had a rotten smell. Amongst other things that were just really odd about this doll. So I plucked up the courage to cut open the doll and I actually found a vial of teeth inside of it. 
I have a whole playlist on this doll if you wish to know more, but be warned, it's really creepy. Another doll that creeps me out is Blair. I would say that they are one of my scarier dolls because of their appearance. The hollow eyes just give the doll a creepy look, and what is worse, when you look inside, the eyes are still there. Not to mention that the spirit attached to the doll cries at night. This is Mary. Now, Mary hasn't actually done anything wrong, but she has always gave me a very uneasy feeling whenever I'm around her. In my older videos, you might have noticed that I used to keep her head covered because when I looked into her eyes, I just felt sick. But we're okay now, I think. This is what I call unknown entity. Whenever I try to make contact with the spirit attached to this doll, it just threatens me and it's basically a troll. And I think we all know that this video would not be complete without mentioning the cursed doll that I have to keep locked in a cage. Definitely one of the scariest dolls in my collection. This is Lady and she is a violent female spirit who gives people nosebleeds. To me, the most terrifying one is definitely that unknown energy. I just, maybe it's just the doll and the fact that it has three different faces and it looks kind of scary to me. That just gives me like this pit in my stomach, but I feel so uneasy when I look at it. Then we have this viral scary video coming out of Mexico, originally from TikToker Viri. I will have them linked below, but the one that I'm about to show you is from Real Horror Talk, who translates some of the things being said in this video because I can't speak Spanish, and also just kind of gives a breakdown as to what this thing might have been. I don't even feel like I can really set this up for you because you just have to see this for yourself. Estaba trabajando cuando sentí que me estaban viendo. Can we talk about this creepy video that's been going viral in Mexico? and it was posted by TikTok user Viri, I'll tag her below. And while working in a mechanical building, they see an eye through a hole in the wall, and it did not look human. And she also stated in a follow-up that it did not blink, it did not meow, and it didn't even move after they banged on the wall. It should also be noted that this area where the hole is was far too high for any human to look through. And commenters were quick to speculate as to what it could be, ranging from an owl, a cat, or a witch. But to me, it looks far too big for a cat eye. But let me know what you think. Golpeábamos la pared y no se movía. Tampoco parpadeaba. It looks like a freaking werewolf. It looks like a werewolf. It looks like a human eye that's just yellow, and yet there is like fur all around it? It looks like a werewolf. A lot of people in the comments were saying this was an ocelot cat. Now, I then decided, okay, what is an ocelot cat? Is it, is it the cat man? I literally took one look at this thing and I was like, oh, that's the cat man that Jasmine, she the disco witch was seeing, uh, like again in our last video. I was like, we found him, we found the cat man. This thing does not look like an ocelot cat. I'm so sorry. This looks like a werewolf. It looks like a cat man. It looks like terrifying. It doesn't look like it should exist and yet here we are. I don't know, have you ever seen something like that? Does it just look creepy because it's just like one eye poking through the wall? Am I being crazy? Is it just a cat? I want to know what you think. TikTok user Sierra Mist recently bought a house, one that she has been vlogging about her renovations of and just the experience of moving into it. She never expected to catch paranormal activity on camera let alone what I'm about to show you. Um, how did you... How did you get out there? Okay, let's try this again. A few moments later. There's, there's no way that this is a thing.
I don't think you understand. There is zero way that she could unlock that, open it, shut it, and lock it. How are you doing this? Now, a lot of people pointed out after this TikTok, listen, there's like windows open here. Your dog clearly jumped outside. Um, let me, let me tell you a little story, friends. I have a husky. I have two of them. My seven-year-old is um, maybe the craziest dog I've ever met in my entire life. He still acts like a puppy every single day of his life. And one day I was minding my own business when I heard a very strange noise come from my living room. I walk out only to find my window screen has been completely knocked out of place and my dog is not in the house. He had jumped through the window into the backyard. However, he had knocked the screen out of place. If you look very closely in this video, you can see that there are screens on the windows that are still in place. So it's completely unclear as to how her dog got outside. Now, it doesn't stop there because after that, when she started hearing creepy noises in the house, she started filming, only to catch this on camera. I'm alone again and I am hearing noises again and it's kind of freaking me out, so. I am making this video just in case something weird happens, I don't know. And eating ice, because, you know, I'm pregnant, like... Now, I know you didn't do that. That was right there. How? I don't understand. This door was literally just open. Okay. Could it have been the dog who knocked over the box? Totally, to be totally honest with you. But it's still weird given all that's happened. And it's not a very tall dog. Like my dogs could knock that over because they're big gigantic monsters. That's a very reasonably sized kind of small dog. I'm very curious to see if Sierra's haunting continues or if maybe spirits in the home were just a little unsettled from her moving in and will be going back to a quiet state once more. The next two videos are truly some of the most fascinating paranormal videos I've ever seen. I feel like every single video I tell you this is why I made this video, like this is what inspired me to make this scary side of TikTok. And if I have one of those stories for this video, it's definitely this. A mother going by the name of Pink86 with two eyes was at Phoenix Children's Hospital with her daughter when they began to seemingly communicate with a spirit in the room with them using Using the motion sensor faucet over by the sink. I know how wacky this sounds, but stick with me because it gets truly bizarre. It's motion sensor. There's no one over there. Okay, do it one more time. Do it one more time, please. Okay. One last time. You. Okay. <laughs> Are you a doctor? Are you a... <laughs> Wait, so do it again if you're a doctor. <laughs> it doesn't stop there. This spirit is answering questions clear as day. In the next video, they get so much more detail about who this could be. Nope. So, you're a girl? You're a girl! Are you a... So, she's a girl? Yippee! Let's see. Hi, do you have a bracelet? Um, Just want to make sure she has a bracelet on. Yeah. You're good. So, double checking. You're a girl. Yes, oh. She got scared of the nurses. It's okay, the nurses are gone. I promise. <laughs> so she's a girl. And just for show, let's see if it comes on right here. Okay. I'm right here. Okay. Nothing. Are you gonna come with me during my MRI x-ray thingy? <laughs> You're gonna be with me? I think it's 
it's also worth noting that not every single video was like this. The poster did record the sync later and it wasn't going off like this. It really seemed like there was another child's spirit in the room communicating with this poster's daughter and it's so crazy and beautiful and so sad. People were super mixed on this. A lot of people saying maybe someone's just working on the plumbing or maybe it's a faulty faucet, but it doesn't seem consistent enough, I guess, at least to me, to be a faulty faucet. Does your name start with an A? Does your name start with a B? I want to do the question asking. Okay. No. Your name starts with a B? Is it Brianna? Brittany. <laughs> Is your name Brittany? Is it Bianca? That's a weird name. I don't know. It's what came, came to mind. Yeah. Bianca? The mom also said that she and her daughter have experiences like this all of the time, actually. So this really didn't phase them. It could be that they're just both very empathetic people who feel spirits and have these kinds of experiences more often than others. I debated on posting the next video. It comes from Dark Discoveries Plus, but I'm sure this is not the original poster. I just can't find who it would belong to. If you know, let me know. I will uh, appropriately tag below. A police officer walks up to the window of a woman who quickly says, I was speeding, wasn't I? To which the police officer politely says, yes, you just blew through that stop sign back there, which is seemingly why this woman was pulled over. The cop asks for her license and registration and goes to run the appropriate info. But uh, this is my mom's car, so. Where are you headed to where you're speeding and missing stop signs? I was just headed to a friend's house. It's like literally right there. It's a, okay. a birthday party. So Got it. Not mine, but... Any drugs or alcohol in the vehicle? No, of course not. All right. Sit tight, Sarah. I'll be right back. Okay. Your registration is expired. Where did she what go? The... Sarah? What the heck? Sarah? 3201. To dispatch hi The woman has disappeared entirely. So many people were saying that, of course, this would be a hoax. Um, it could be a hoax, rather. It could be, like, made up for views, it could have been even part of a movie or something that we're just not familiar with, or maybe Sarah like knew that they were going to find something on her license or knew that the registration was expired and wanted to skedaddle, but there's also a few people saying maybe this was a glitch in the matrix. Maybe Sarah was yeeted out of this reality and thrown into another one. Lots of explanations for this video, but I'm gonna let you come up with yours on your own. Then we have an incredible story time from TikTok user Kate Swisher. I don't know if it's Kate Swisher or Kate Swisher, but Kate is telling a story about her experience babysitting for a family over the course of several years. This story is in twofold because part of it is paranormal and very, very paranormal at that. Well, the second half of it is very like real and physical and just as terrifying, but I'll let you be the judge of which is scarier. So I'd been there for about three weeks and one day out of nowhere, the bathroom mirror fell off the wall. So I cleaned up all the broken glass and I told the dad about it. And when he got home and you know, that was that. Sometimes these things just happen. But the next day I got there and there's already a replacement mirror on the wall. And the mom says, hey, Kate, I heard you met our ghost. And I'm like, what? And she goes on to tell me that the reason there's already a replacement is because they buy them in bulk at Lowe's because this happens like three to four times a year. Um, they have a ghost. They're not scared of it. It just is what it is. So I'm super skeptical. I'm like, these fools are just really bad at hanging mirrors. But over time, I realized that weird things really do happen in this house. Like um, sometimes I would go in the kitchen and I'd leave and come back in just a second and the cabinets would all be open or they had a DVD rack in the living room. And sometimes just like one single DVD would come flying out of it. 
So I worked for them for three summers and it's now the end of August. I'm 16 now. He's 13. This is our last summer together because he's going to stay home by himself the following year. Um, so we're, it's just really our last couple days together. So I'm in the living room. He's in his bedroom playing Nintendo 64 when suddenly I hear the sound of someone coming up the basement stairs and I hear a man cough. So like there's definitely somebody in the house. So I run down the hall and I grab the boy out of his room and I like drag him down the hallway and I have like him in one hand and my Nokia brick phone in the other. And as I'm passing the kitchen on my way out, out of the corner of my eye, I see that there's definitely someone in the kitchen. He is like a big man with a ponytail and a beard. So I get all the way out of the house to the sidewalk and I'm about to call the police, but I pause for a second to tell the boy what what's going on. I'm like, hey, like somebody broke into the house. I'm calling the police. So I'm about to call 911 and the boy snatches my phone out of my hand and he starts laughing and he's like, that's, that's not, no one broke in, Kate. Like that's just my brother, Ronnie. And I'm like, what? So he runs back into the house. I follow him. He goes into the kitchen and greets this man. And he's like, Ronnie, Kate thought you were a murderer. And, and the man just like smirks with a bowl of cereal in his hand and returns to the basement. I had worked for this family for three years and I never once heard a single person ever mention this this child had a brother, let alone a much older brother. But the worst part is I come to find out that he has lived in the basement for years and apparently he was in the basement every single day for the entire three years that I babysat for this family. So literally what is scarier, a ghost that is so notorious about haunting this house that they buy bulk mirrors because the ghost is just knocking it down all the time or a fully grown man in the basement that Kate just never knew about. Commenters were saying that it probably was a situation where maybe he was working the night shift or something like that, which is why he could never watch his brother, um, but also why she probably wouldn't see him because he would be asleep and awake or away from the home at strange hours. But I understand how this would be really jarring to find out that like a child that you've been babysitting for years has a family member that lives in the home where you've been babysitting them for literal years at this point, that would be incredibly unsettling. And I think it's an amazing story. Then I have found a new analog nightmare horror account that I have been so excited to share with all of you. It all started off with my one true love as I stumbled across the video, Little Guys, from the TikTok account, Layton Places. Little guys, these little guys have been spotted Zeke who holds in Bargoville, Oklahoma. Using the cover of night, little guys are known to break into residences with the sole intent of rearranging the belongings of the occupants. Upon completion of their midnight mission, little guys retreat into walls, floorboards, and ventilation systems to rest and wait for residents to wake. It is thought that little guys gain sustenance from the confusion of humans, as occupants become increasingly baffled by the mislead of their property little guys become energized and prepare to target another household. Once fully rested they promptly relocate and the mischievous cycle is continued. Little guys are notoriously difficult to spot and even harder to capture on Gwen. See who stopped in their tracks little guys will almost always freeze if they sense detection. This behavior is thought to be a poorly developed defense mechanism. This has been a public service announcement from the Ministry of Laden Places. In this video, we are introduced to little guys, half nightmare, half little guy. They're cute, they're terrifying, the voice is creepy, it's in this analog horror filter. It's literally everything I could ever want. I love little guys. But then I took a deep dive through this account, and when I tell you there is some serious nightmare fuel on here, if you want to do yourself a favor and just scroll through the whole account and watch all of their videos, you will probably scare the crap out of yourself for an entire afternoon. However, I wanted to show you one other favorite, and this one is about the Flesh Collectors. Flesh Collectors, sightings of these well-dressed faceless entities have recently spiked near Youngstown, Ohio. Flesh Collectors are believed to be agents sent to our realm from an unknown latent dimension. Their intentions appear to revolve around the brokerage of various Faustian bargains and the enforcement of their terms. Avoid condemned and abandoned locations as this is where Flesh Collectors prefer to conduct their grim business dealings. Do not interact directly with the flesh collector as merely being in the presence of these beings may result in acquired debt. The ministry has deployed undercover investigators in order to further understand flesh collector behavior and to document the fine print of their contracts. 
debtors who are found to be in breach of contract are subject to the garnishing of one's corporeal form by way of an epidural-based payment plan. This has been a public service announcement from the Ministry of Latent Places. Now, I have a deep-seated respect and fear of the flesh collectors. I quite like them, if we're being totally honest. They remind me of like a Slender Man type entity. They're very formal, but they're also completely and totally terrifying. I love it. There has just been an overwhelming amount of incredible analog horror coming from creators on TikTok who just seem to get it. They just get it and their scares are effective. This one actually comes from The Real Pizza Gobbler who talks about not the clean girl aesthetic, not the mob girl aesthetic that recently went viral on TikTok either, but the human girl aesthetic. You've heard of clean girl aesthetic, you've heard of mob wife aesthetic, but have you heard of human girl aesthetic? It's the latest trend and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that real human girl look. So I'm starting off with a fresh face and then I'm gonna go in with some, some it, it's a little Okay, so this is the finished look, and that is how to be a human girl just in time for spring. I was glued to my screen for the entirety of that video. I just, so many of the faces that were being made, the editing, just the creepy, like, do you wish to go back? Along with like, just the nostalgic beauty guru, like you're watching somebody get ready in their room and tell you how to do it. Oh my God, it was so, so, so good. And I do just love to see my girlies making scary TikTok videos. So here's another one from Tata Dovner. I think this might be an audio from the Mandela catalog or at the very least sounds like it's from Mandela catalog but if you have any windows open before watching this I recommend closing them now if you are inside your home with the lights out do not look outside your window turn on your lights before you look through any window do not leave your home if you see a figure outside even if he is turned away do not look at him lock all doors and windows before turning off all lights inside your residence Hide in a small space and call authorities. Do not move from hiding unless you hear an unfamiliar voice. If you do hear a familiar voice coming from inside your home, do not move. He is inside. He is inside. He is inside. It's so spooky. It's total nightmare fuel. I love it. All three of these accounts are so, so, so incredible. Again, as always, I have everybody listed down below, but please, please check them out. I could have put a million videos from each of these creators into this, but I really want you to go and watch them from the creators themselves. They are just mm, chef's kiss. And I promise you, you have seen a fraction of the horrors. Then we have a paranormal video from TikTok user underscore Carter V that looks as though it's just a snapshot at the beginning with the caption, I gotta move. Now this poster is just sitting on the couch, relaxing seemingly, when suddenly he hears somebody playing piano in the room, except there's nobody there. Dude, what the f Who's there? What the f In the time since, there hasn't been much more posted on this account about this, but the bio of this person's TikTok says might be haunted. So I guess we'll see if the ghost wants to play any more music during the night. I wanna talk about the TikTok account Bear Den Josh and the creepy neighbor kid who he has been posting about. To give you a brief introduction, this poster began posting these videos from his own yard of his neighbor's child who comes to his home with a bunny mask on his head and some interesting clothing going on, but he won't talk to the poster. He'll just stand there and stare. 
Based on the ring camera footage, he's been here for about 35 minutes now. He's been standing here. Hey, buddy. Hello? Seriously, man, you're kind of creeping me out. Where are your parents at? Hello? In a follow-up, the poster said, creepy neighbor kid update. Many questions have been asked. Yes, this creeps me out. I left the house when he was still there. When I came back an hour later, he was gone. He's 10 to 11 years old. Yes, he's a boy. No, he's not a tree stump. Yes, he has feet. Yes, he is on my property. No, I won't spray him with a hose. I don't understand why people were recommending like running this child off by spraying him with the hose. But the poster goes on to clarify further. He lives like seven to eight houses away. He's been doing this like once a week. I've spoken to him many times, but he never responds. I have no idea if there are issues at home, but I'm attempting to find out. No, I haven't called the police. Yes, I've talked to his parents. However, things hit a boiling point when the poster posted this video. Apparently, it was very early in the morning and the neighbor kid was already outside the house in the dark behind the poster's van. Maybe because he knew that the man would be going to work at this time. Um, but this was, again, kind of like the boiling over point for this poster to say like, I really have to get in touch with the parents. I need to find out what's going on. Like it's no longer, uh, the kid is coming and playing in his yard, if you can even call it that. It's like genuinely dangerous to the child. The poster, which I respect him a lot for, went on to basically say he had talked to the family and that everything was okay and that he was going to refrain from calling this child like creepy neighbor kid or anything like that moving forward or posting any further videos about him. In fact, he got him an Easter basket which he left um, near like that tree that the kid always came and stood near and nobody really understood why this kid was doing this. It seemed like it could be a cry for help, um, maybe just something to do, maybe he wanted to prank the neighbor or maybe this was just his way of communicating and he felt safer behind a mask. But I got a lot of tags in it, I wanted to talk about it. Um, and I think that neighbor kid is pretty freaking cool. I like that mask. And I think that as long as he's not hurting anybody and he's not in any kind of danger and everything is safe at home, he can do whatever he wants to do. Then I saw this video go viral from The Haunted Youth. And this was total nightmare fuel. I guess there's some kind of trend going on with this filter, like making like these scary faces. And you can see here that that's exactly what this poster does. They make like this creepy, creepy face in their closet. However, that's not the part of the video that I am here to talk about. The part that I'm here to talk about is the fact that everybody was pointing out that just over the poster's head in the beginning of the clip, you can see number one, what looks like a face right over their head, as well as like somebody standing off off to the right as well. In a follow-up, the poster shows exactly what that face belonged to. So since everybody's concerned about what was behind me during the first part of the video, this is it. It was a mask behind me. That's the original mask. And the other thing that was also moving behind me in the background was my dog. We love a closet tour. We love a cute little creepy mask collection. It's creepy, I like it a lot, but a lot of you tagged me in that, thinking that there was something over the poster's head and I just wanted to throw it out there that there was, but probably not what you were thinking. Then we have a TikTok from Do You Believe Too on TikTok. Again, I don't know the original source of this one. I was trying to see if it looked like any other like haunted TikTok houses I've talked before, but I don't recognize it. And I don't know if this is staged. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's captioned Don't Watch in the Dark, which doesn't really tell you much about this one. There is a person filming this who is very clearly shaken up while things seem to be moving around and happening in their kitchen.
at the end of this video, there's that slight jump scare. It almost looks like somebody like peeks around the corner. But then the video ends, and because I don't know who this belongs to, I can't find the haunting. I can't find like if anything else happened, if there was an explanation for this. It stands alone as just a really creepy video to watch. Oh my god, then there was this video from Magpie7 showcasing what they claimed was real life sirens. You know, sirens, right? Like the things that will lure a sailor to their death by singing out at sea. Magpie was just out fishing with a friend when they heard the noises. And I don't know what this is, but I can honestly say I've never heard anything like it. I hear nothing on your hook. I have a worm. In my head, I guess that I thought that sirens sounded like mermaids. I don't know, like these, this beautiful, howling, eerie singing voice. And this sounds so like animalistic, but unlike any animal I've ever heard. And yet I could totally see somebody like going to check it out. Like maybe, maybe it does lure people in because it's so unfamiliar. And then something strange happened in the background of Sofia Vergara's Instagram photos. I, I know, but stick with me. Um, Shanti 2233 kind of broke down what people are freaked out about. And it's not Sofia Vergara, but the background of this photo. Um, can someone please tell me what the F is going on in the background? Okay, photo number one. Boom. Look in the background. Get your full. It's getting weird. Photo number two. It's a little weirder. Hold on, let's zoom in. Mm. This is weirder. Like, what's happening here? So I'm like, this is no way that this is real. I'm finna... Let me go to her page myself so that I can see if this is even real. Well, I'll be doggone. It's really on her page, March 16th. Y'all see that right there? And I'm zooming in myself so that y'all can see, like, this is a real photo on her page. Look at that one. What in the reptilian hell is going on? What? Need somebody to explain to me like I'm three years old why America's Got Talent has shapeshifters in the audience. And if these aren't shapeshifters, then what the hell is it? Now remember, in a previous Scary Side of TikTok, when we talked about another person pointing out very similar faces from a Lana Del Rey concert, like people were trying to film a Lana Del Rey concert and all of the faces were getting really distorted and creepy. Some people thought it was demons, other people thought it was just an iPhone thing. This time, the reigning theory seems to be AI, that perhaps the crowd was fleshed out with AI in some way, which could explain some of the distortion. However, I saw that there was a top comment on this video from someone claiming that they were their front row and that people will just believe anything. Thing. So I don't know, but I find it interesting. More and more videos are coming out about this. Like, are we just going to hear about some massive camera phone glitch in a couple of years and all of this will be explained? Or is something actually going on? Then I have this video from TikTok user Ghost Toast Spooks, who's also becoming one of my favorite horror creators on TikTok. He broke down a video from Courtney.co in which her daughter started to talk to her about her past life in detail, with a full name. But you don't have four kids. Why? <laughs> Why not? We just don't live up with you. Where do you live? In Sand Springs. In Sand Springs? Yep. With who? With my father. Mm. Well, when you go to bed, you're here. So, you live I'm with me. I'm not going to stay the night. You stay the night with me? Yeah, I stay the night every night. Cause Where? At your house, because my grandfather died. Ooh. When did your grandfather die? Um, well, since our house is bleeding everywhere, um, inside of it, remember? Whenever, whenever it, our house is on the street, remember? On the street? Um, your house on the street bleeds? No, my house. 
まだ、日本だって、自然連帯もあって、and she died. So now she's dead. Your mom's dead? Yeah. My grandfather and my mom. So now I live with you. What's your name? Angeli. Angeli Grace died. Who's Angeli? Me. That's why you have three kids. The clip went viral on May 11th of last year, and the following day, Courtney received thousands of messages revealing that there was actually an obituary for a woman in Sand Springs with the name Angeli Grace Dye, who had allegedly been murdered. After waking up to this news, Courtney decides to call the Sand Springs Police Department. She manages to speak to a detective. Can you give me the name? Angeli. A. Yes, ma'am who says that they are unaware of any case with this name, but that they were going to look into it and get back to her. The original poster went on to contact the police department, just saying, like, I don't know what I should do with this information. I guess I don't know, like, what this is. And I don't think anything ended up coming of that call. But I also completely understand calling the police. Obviously, like, she was calling the non-emergency line. But... I understand like wanting to report this because at the end of the day, it's so specific. This kid is so sure. And I truly believe that kids can sense and experience things that we have too much of a spiritual ego to allow ourselves to witness. Whether that is an overactive imagination in this case or a legitimate past life experience, I'll let you decide. Then this video comes from God Bless the Raw Raw. I'll have the whole thing uh, listed out down below, but it's taken at one of the wax museums in which there is a Lady Gaga wax figure. Captioned, when you notice Lady Gaga's hair comes undone, but you got her back. Now the video is super, super innocent. This person takes a bobby pin out of her hair. She fixes up Lady Gaga, just girls supporting girls. However, at the very end of the video, Video, a lot of people were saying it looked as though the wax figure's eyes moved. I've watched this back so many times, I think it moves way too quickly to say anything like that. I also just don't think they move. I think the camera moved. A very rare appearance of Skeptic Low, but this one was too blatant for me not to realize that it definitely was just a different camera angle. However, a lot of you tagged me in it thinking her eyes did move, so I wanted to put it in here. Then we have a TikTok from user Selena Spooky Boo, who I'm sure so many of you love just as much as I do. Selena is a horror author, a TikToker, a creator in general who talks very very frequently about the fact that she is quite sensitive to spirit. And in this video, we see her catch a ghost out of the corner of her eye in real time. Hello? Adam? Are you downstairs? Oh, I just saw somebody. Like grud, like you know, kid grudge style through the. I just walked this way. Yeah, but you weren't up there. No. I saw it in my mirror. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Now, I was looking through her comments and she said some weird stuff has been going on recently. So perhaps we'll get a full haunting update from her. I know she has ghost hunted in her house previously. I absolutely love those videos with her and Chris. And I'm curious to see if anything else pops up. Then, two TikToks here from 60 Second Serial Killers. The first one captioned, when your toddler keeps saying there is someone hiding in the loft inside their bedroom and the hatch is open when it should be closed. A lot of people thinking here, hey, that's not paranormal. That is frogging. Um, I recently learned this word. My friends, my friends taught me this word and it has freaked me out ever since. Frogging is when somebody lives in your home without your knowledge. Think like somebody's in your attic, somebody's in your guest house, somebody's living in your basement, eating your food, living in your home, and you just never know. And everybody thinks it's crazy until it happens to them. It's not as rare as you might think. Because the people demanded it, this poster did give us a part two in which he went into the attic to see if there was anything going on in the loft. 
Right, so I've had quite a lot of people asking for a part two. So, yeah, I checked, and it closed. I didn't close it, I can't even reach it. So, I got myself a desk chair, and I opened the loft hatch with a torch to have a look inside. One thing to note is, I couldn't get my head in there because it's got quite a high ceiling. So I had to rely on sticking my torch and just the phone up. As you can see, there wasn't really anything in there. But what I did find weird was this little bit of wood kind of blocking a hole at the other side. Now, for some context, this loft is the loft for the extension on our house. And that little bit of wood, that connects to the main loft. Now, if you've seen a previous video, in the main loft, I found a bit of wood which kind of opened up into a crawl space where you could probably crawl all the way around to that extra loft space. This is an old Victorian house built in 1875. It's a terraced house, so all the lofts are connected in one way or another. I tried to find the hatch that led to the second loft, but I couldn't find it. All I could find was this original hatch that I found in the first video. Should I open it and go further in? And the conclusion seems to be that there wasn't anyone up there, so... Could this have been a ghost? Then we have a video from Spectral.Love who told a creepy like glitch in the matrix slash just an absolute nightmare story. And I'm gonna give you a bit of a summary before I show you the scary part. This poster got a text from her sister asking for a banana icy that can only be bought at this one specific gas station. And the poster sister was at school, so they were like, sure, I'll go get you this banana icy, I'll bring it to you. They go, they pick it up, and on the way in, they spot somebody outside of the gas station. Not weird, obviously, people go to a gas station, but what is weird is what happens with that person after. And like, as I'm walking down the sidewalk, like I turn and I see that the lady is still sitting on the side of the building. The entire time I'm walking down the sidewalk, I just notice she's just watching me. And eventually I'm too far for, her to, for me to see her watching me. So I'm just like, I'm, like, I'm gonna get the car. I'm gonna just get in the car, I'm gonna drive away. Now, please note, that this lady is sitting on the ground against the building. She's sitting, okay? So I open the door, and immediately as I open the door, I turn to get in. She is a foot away from me, staring right at, like, she's just staring right at me, and I was like, <gasps> you would think that it doesn't get weirder, but this, now a foot away from me, looking me dead in my eyes, just stands there and says, I didn't kill anybody. And you know why they're gonna survive the horror movie? Because they sniffed out the danger and they got the heck out of there. No questions asked. They were just like, oh, all right, I'm, I'm gonna go now. And that's why they made it out. The part of this that's really creepy is how quickly this person teleported over, how fast this woman teleported behind the poster to say what she said and what she said was really creepy. Just total nightmare fuel all around. Lastly, we need to have a little chat, you and I, because you have been tagging me in mass in one of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my life. From Pasty Gargoyle is a TikTok with the caption, how did I find another nail in my own room? Am I cheating on myself? And so many of you were tagging me saying glitch in the matrix, glitch in the matrix. Hey, Loie, it's a, it's a nail glitch in the matrix. Isn't that crazy? And every single time I spent a solid 20 minutes going through the comments because the comments on this TikTok were so funny. Girl, you gotta stand up for yourself. This isn't right. Leave yourself and live your best life. Prove that you can't trust anyone. Set up cameras so you can't do anything sneaky. I loved it so, so much 
much. So not a truly scary video, but a lighthearted one that reminded you of Glitch in the Matrix TikToks to end off this video on. There you all have it. That was 34 scary TikToks from the scary side of TikTok. And I really, really hope you all enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. A special thank you to my subscribers who are members of the channel. If you want to join the channel memberships and get extra members exclusive perks like members only polls to help me decide on future video topics, members only videos, and so much more, you can click that little join button somewhere around the screen. We would love to have you. An extra special thank you to my VIP loves for their continued and generous support of the channel. I love and appreciate you all very, very much. I love you all very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.